Welcome to a storybook read aloud by Language Liftoff. We are reading How the Zebras Lost Their Colors, Making the World a More Beautiful Place. It's written by Janet R. Adams and illustrated by Alexander Jasinski. Let's read. A long time ago, the whole earth was black and white, except for the zebras, who were a dazzling sight. The majestic striped zebras were red, green, and blue. There was yellow and orange in a pretty purple hue. But the boring gray world made Zoe zebra sad. Outside of the herd, everything was so drab. It wasn't so great to be always standing out. She could be a meal soon, if not careful, no doubt. Now, Timothy Turtle, he rarely had guts. He was slow, sometimes boring, and quite the klutz. Yet Timothy Turtle admired her coat, so he walked right over and cleared his throat. When he said aloud, perhaps a bit of blue, Zoe smiled, I think green is better for you. Oh, what I would give to have such a lovely color. My shell is just gray, and my world feels much duller. Zoe shook, and she shimmied, then gave a swipe. And right from her fur, she pulled out a green stripe. Then she slid the green onto Timothy's shell, where it glimmered and shimmered and suited him well. The turtle thanked Zoe, then strode all about, he stretched and he flexed as he checked his shell out. When the others saw Timothy with his bright green, they wanted colors too. It caused quite the scene. Sweet Zoe felt proud as she stood there so glad, and she looked at the many spare colors she had. She lined everyone up on the left and the right, took a breath, and prepared to make them all bright. First, Zoe shared orange for a butterfly's wings. It whirled and it twirled to show off those things. Then, Zoe gave purple to a little starfish, who curled and swirled and gave a happy swish. For the clever old fox, only red it could be, it was bold, it was bright, as she ran fancy free. The little chicks sang excitedly together as yellow swept over and brightened their feathers. Mr. Skunk, fast asleep, stayed black and white. And once he woke up, he said, that's quite all right. He yawned and stretched, saying, but don't you see? Black and white are exactly what make me, me. The blue stretched to cover the great big whale who squealed when he caught a sight of his tail. Now Zoe was striped in all black and white and those colors seemed to fit her just right. When the other zebras saw what their friend had done, they began to share too because it looked like fun. One zebra put every shade in the chameleon's hand so she could change to be any color in the land. Next, the zebras colored the sky and the trees, then the mountains, the plains, and even the seas. Every last animal then gathered around to thank the zebras with a melody of sounds. Zoe glowed as she saw the enchanting sight. Oh, to live in a world so colorful and bright. All of her friends were now such vibrant shades, a dazzling array she knew would never fade. And that's how the zebras lost their colors long ago by giving the world the beauty of the rainbow. Thank you for reading with me today, children. We'll read again next time. Goodbye!